Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on our channel Bro Gaming. Today, welcome to episode 3 of Bro Gaming FC. Uh, this episode was very fun to film, so make sure you watch till the end of this episode to see what I'm going on about because the last game of this episode is a madness, let me just say that. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing much else to say, so like, subscribe, turn notifications on so you don't miss a video from us, Bro Gaming. Let me pass you over to me round about half an hour ago so yeah see you later guys i don't know if i've said this in the intro or not but i'm really really enjoying uh recording this series so far so if you are enjoying it then make sure you like subscribe turn notifications on and uh last time we were here we got an offer for mahalo mahalov mahalov or something and i'm pretty sure i rejected that um so we'll go ahead and do that now and yeah, we had a game coming up against, I can't remember, but it was against someone. Oh yeah, and then we got these two scout reports for Diaz, who was a 64 rated right winger. Uh, Nukati, who was a 27 year old centre back, so not really interested in signing him. And we got Kuen, who is a 69 rated left mid for uh, 25 year old. So, I mean, Kuen might be okay for like a replacement for um san example but i don't really know at the moment guys all we need is just to win start winning games to be honest because we got barnsley millwall and swansea so we'll be playing barnsley and millwall a day so uh so yeah let's get straight in with it so guys, we'll be lining up with the same lineup as last game with Ibrahim. I think it was Ibrahim Sorry Conte. Yeah, Ibrahim Sorry Conte at centre back. I'll just call him Conte for now because it's probably annoying you me saying his full name. And we've got Teki, our new signing. Two new signings in the starting eleven this episode. I think I'm going to replace Ericsson for Vasil for this game though, um, just to see how that goes. But yeah, in January, which. Probably it's going to be a while, but I don't really know. I might um, I might up the amount of games we play in each episode. If you want to see that, make sure you uh, comment down below if you want to see that or not. But in January, just to make it quicker, we'll be playing... Um, we'll be looking for a new goalkeeper and a new right mid to replace Pallister. Because Pallister being 63 rated, probably not good enough. Um, yeah, and then maybe another left back because if we can switch him round to be 71 rated on the other side guys 71 rated that's very very good so if we can look for another left back because we can't stick with Sufa who's a 61 rated left back so yeah that'll probably have our plan for January but for now let's get straight with the Barnsley game Bro Gaming FC versus Barnsley with the boys walking out in their home kit because the away kit might have been a little bit of a kick clash with their green and our blue. I'm excited for this game to see what can happen. Can Arkas bag a goal? Can anyone, can Bro Gaming FC get a goal this game? Because we went all of last episode without a goal. Which uh, cannot be acceptable for a series like this. Arkas is in. Can he shoot? Arkas shoots. Oh, and he hits the par. The par? What's the par? I was going to say the post or the bar, but he hits... I'll, I'll say the par, it's the par. Don't let them get the ball in, don't let them get the ball in. Get it out, clear it. Pallister. Castledean. Can you find anyone? He finds Techie. Techie, can you find Arkas? He finds Arkas. Arkas is through. Arkas is through, can he sweat it? No, wait, what? Can he sweat? Can he shoot? And he shoots and he scores. Arkas shoots. And Arkas finishes the ball in the back of the net. He kicks the corner flag, so that should be a yellow card, but... And he just walks right through Teki. What a ball from Teki into the feet of Arkas. Arkas finesses it. Bottom corner. That's what we love to see from Arkas right there. Road game in FC1. Barnsley nil. Teki. To Castledean. Back up to Teki. No, to Arkas. Then to Teki. Find San on the wing. What a ball. What a ball. Can you whip it in? It goes to Teki. Oh, and Teki just can't make it. Unlucky, lads. Oh, and Barnsley made a mistake. Barnsley have slipped up. Can we counter-attack from their mess up? Passes at Hassan on the wing. 
Hassan. Get it in the Castle Dean. Castle Dean on the header. Oh, he just about misses. Unlucky Castle Dean. That was a very good header. Castle Dean shoots. Castle Dean scores. Right on the edge of half time. Castle Dean finished it in the back of the net twice, but only one of them counts. What a strike from Castle Dean from outside of the box. Let's look at that again. Plays a beautiful ball from Techie. Techie with two assists today. And Castellin wasn't the best of shots. The keeper co probably could have saved that. Um, but in our favour, he never. Bro game in FC2. Barnsley nil. So guys, it is half time now. So I think I'm going to move Hetich up. Make him into a cam and then bring on Redmond. So we have technically two cams on the pitch at the moment. Um, let's see how that goes out, just so we can go all out attack now. I mean, I know we're winning, so we don't really need to, but why not? I want to give Redmond a timeout on the pitch. Redmond, first touch of the ball in this whole series. Plays it through Arkas. Arkas shoots from outside the box. Arkas just... Arkas hits the target, to be fair to him. But it was a terrible shot. Easy save for the keeper. Can we play this outside of the box now? Never mind. Yes, we could. Seifert shoots. Oh. I don't know why I'm shooting so much. Maybe because I'm just used to not being able to score in the series. I just want to score as much as I can in this game. So, Seifert shoots. And that is a very, very poor shot. Almost takes up the chair. Pallister. Castle Dean. Can he find Pallister again? He finds him. Back up to Castle Dean. Sees San on the wing. Get it there. Whips it in. Oh, Arkas. Arkas on the head and he hits the bar. What? End of the game now, guys. 2-0. Uh, Bro game in FC. I'll take that. That is three points. Our first three points of the series and the season. So, I'll, I'll very much take that. Hopefully, in our next game against Millwall, we can get another three points. League opener, Chapter 3. What's he going to say this time? We, we've exceeded everyone's expectations. The media isn't ragging on us either. More of the same, please. I mean, I'll keep up. We'll, I'll, we'll keep up the good work. Yes, we definitely will. We'll try anyway because that was only our first three points. So for the media to be off our back that quick is a bit suspicious. So guys, as you can see here, if we look on Palace right there on the on the reserves, he's got a downward hour, which means his form isn't too good. Whereas Mihailovs is. From the bench, um, very good. Um, so I've brought Arkas to the wing. Uh, I've brought Arkas as a backup striker to the wing, um, and then brought Mihailov on up front. So we'll see how that goes for this game. And then we've got Pallister on the reserves, which means we can't bring him on this game. But I think we'll be ended up bringing Redmond on or um, Rice on or Vasil John again so we'll give Ericsson a run out for this game once again but yeah we'll see how this game goes Mihailov's first touch on the ball very good one we have San up to Teki to Mihailov Mihailov finds Arkas and he finds Arkas and Arkas takes a touch very risky but it does pull off and Arkas gets his goal in the 6th minute I don't know what's happened to our team, guys, but overnight, between episode 2 and episode 3, the boys have switched their brains on and actually know how to play football now. Very good from the boys there. Arkas, very risky touch. Uh, very risky touch indeed, but he, uh, he pays off with a goal. Outside of the boot, touch as well. No, outside of the boot shot, sorry. Outside of the boot shot. And, uh, yeah. Very risky for Marcas, but he does score. So, a fair play to him. Go Castle Dean. Castle Dean shoots. On he hits the post. He hits the post. Literally, what? Out. Oh, and he scores. San. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect that to go in whatsoever. In 12 minutes, guys. I actually can't believe what I'm seeing. In 12 minutes... We're 2-0 up. 
because Castledean shoots from outside the box, hits the post. San takes one touch and finesses it bottom right. Castledean's unlucky to hit the post here. But that caught me by surprise, guys. I did not expect that to happen. What a finesse by uh, what a finesse by San right there. Look at him. Begging. Begging to not get dropped because of the last episode. And uh, he won't get dropped anytime soon because of uh, that goal right there. He's on form. Can he find someone? He finds Mihailov. Mihailov. 3-0. 3-0, guys, in 20 minutes. Mihailov. Guys, I don't think. I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened, but Mihailov's got his goal on his debut for the club. Arkas with the assist. No, Kasselin with the outside of the boot assist. And then Mihailov with his debut goal with the outside of the boot as well. You can't predict it. You can't predict this game. One episode, we go from not even scoring. And then this episode, we go to scoring five goals in two games one against Barnsley one against Millwall and Arcus is on it again I don't really want to make it unrealistic so I'm going to shoot from outside the box and uh, I mean if it would win in I would have uh, been happy but it never went in so yeah 3-0 what a f that's a free kick well done ref very good give him a yellow card go on book him book him ok never mind I mean it wasn't that dirty of a tackle but he did foul him do a shoot from here. 79 rated on the uh, long ball accuracy, so I might, I might shoot. I don't think it's going to go in. Probably not. Yeah, no, but that was a terrible shot, San. That was so bad. Gone, San. Can he finesse it again? And he does, and it went in. He almost recreated his goal from beforehand in the early stages of the game. It's 4 0. San gets two goals. Oh my god, guys. 4-0 in the 41st minute. That's one goal every 10 minutes. Guys, I can't believe what I'm saying. This game could end up like... This game could literally end up like 8-0. If we're going the way this happened, in the first half we've scored four goals, which means in the second half, nothing stopping us from scoring another four. This game could end 8-0. So guys, 4-0 at half time. I think I'm going to make a few subs just because we're winning by that much of a margin. I'm going to rest some of our good players. So I think I'm going to make... I think I'm going to rest Arkas. Bring Arkas off. Play Carlson there. Um, as a 68 rated second striker. Um, I think I'm going to bring Redmond on for Castledean. And then I'll bring... Um, I'll bring Rice on for Hetich. So yeah guys um, I'm speechless because of that first half I don't really know what to say but 4-0 Let's get straight over the second half Redmond's on it, Redmond shoots Oh my god Redmond's first goal For the club Is his first touch of this game What's Wallace just chilling there for number three, mate? Get on my shot. What a ball. Redmond, second touch of the game. Because the first one was to control the ball to then shoot. Guys, this game's been insane. Like I said, you can't predict it, can you? What a strike from Redmond. What a hit. The boys in yellow are back. And no one's stopping them. Bro game in FC 5. Millwall nil. Oh, and Mihailov fouls the keeper. Uh, I don't think he's allowed to do that. Um, because the keeper got the ball and I tried to get the ball, but then the keeper just fell over because he stood on his own toes. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say because uh, that was a foul. And... Uh, yeah, I don't think he got booked for it though, which is good. 
Redmond, Falk, Carson. Mihailov is so tired. Can he do it again? San. Oh, and it's the post. Guys, that would have been that would have been goal of the episode right there. Flicking it up and then finessing it bottom corner. The third time San would have been able to do the same goal, but it just doesn't work out for him. Oh, and they've hit the post. That was their first really like good attack. And Millwall hit the post. I mean, luckily for us, it never went in because I don't want it. Uh, I don't want it to affect our goal difference. But wow, Mihailov's off. But I don't really want to give it to him because he's out of breath. Redmond, Redmond surely isn't. Redmond isn't. Redmond gets through. Redmond shoots. Redmond scores six nil. Bro game and FC versus Millwall. Bro game and FC six. Redmond's second goal and he's only come on at half time. Guys, could we be looking? Could we be looking at an Arcas replacement? Arcas has been subbed off. And it was for Carlson. But either Mihailov or Redmond could be Castledean or Arcas's replacement. This team at the moment, guys, is doing well better than when. Arcas was on the pitch. We might be looking to sell Arcas. Which will be a shame because he is one of our highest rated people in the club. But yeah, the game should end now. Which it does. 6 0. Like I said, guys, I am I am speechless. I don't even know what to say. That is a very good start. That affects our start of the season so much in a positive way. I can't even explain it. 6-0. What a game. Where does that put us in the league, guys? That puts us in 7th place. In this episode, guys, we've gone from 13th place to 7th. With 6 points in this one episode. 6 points from 2 games. That is very, very good. That is the best we could have got. So, yeah. Uh, we're looking to be top four next episode. I don't know if that's possible, but next episode, guys, we'll play Swansea and Reading. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss a video from us. Bro Gaming, if you want me to make the amount of games we play uh, more, so we play three games an episode instead of two, comment that down below if you want that to happen. So, yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss a video from us, Bro Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yo, DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give